because he's 28 years of age and he's picking up pounds. Difficult for him to make the 130 super featherweight limit. He's tall and lanky at 5'10". 71 and a half inch reach is very important. Two and a half longer than that of Boza Edwards, who's young at 24, weighing in at 134 and a half. This is the third bout in the United States for this likable Ugandan. He uh, fought in Las Vegas and Miami Beach. He was preparing for another fight, and with the withdrawal of Fernandez, the original uh, opponent for Arguello, he now will take the champion on. Let's go to Ed Darien for the introductions. Introducing in the red corner, wearing the white trunks with the red trim, weighing it at 134 and one half pounds, a record of 27 wins, one loss, and 22 knockouts. A native of Uganda, Africa, and now residing in London, England. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a warm welcome for Cornelius Boza Edwards. Edwards. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white accessories, weighing in at 135 and one half pounds, a native of Managua, Nicaragua, and now residing in Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBC Junior Lightweight Champion, here is Alexis Araguayo. Araguayo! All right, and now Tony Perez, a veteran of 21 title fights, in this non-title fight, gives the final instructions. Present rooms, any questions? Check hands, and good luck to both of you. Tony Perez, born in New York, grew up in Puerto Rico great referee for this bout and what an opportunity for the man in the white trunks 24 year old Boza Edwards of Uganda the southpaw he usually comes out banging early but I think he'd be respectful of the hard-hitting Alexis Arguello in the all blue trunks two and a half uh, advantage two and a half inch advantage in the reach for Arguello who is very patient always very confident of his own ability this is the first round it's scheduled to go 10 the 10 point plus New Jersey rules no three knockdown rule a mandatory eight count cannot be saved by the bell except after the last round Carefully now, but backing Arguello up is Boza Edwards. What an opportunity for him. He has not fought the world-class fighters, but I don't care who he fought, if you can score 22 knockouts and 27 wins, you have to be tough. Arguello's fought southpaws before, didn't have too much trouble with them. Let's see how he handles this Ugandan. Arguello's last fight was in April. Defeating Rolando Navarrete in San Juan in a five-round knockout in a title bout. Last fight for Boza Edwards in the white trunks was an eight-rounder. July 12th. The one thing about Edwards, this is his eighth fight this year. He has nine straight knockouts. This is a probing round. Actually, both, both lightweights showing an unusual amount of respect for each other. You see the complete fighter that Arguello is by picking off punches with his gloves. Uh, faded a left jab and then threw a right hand lead which was far short of the mark. We have about a minute remaining in the first round of the scheduled 10 rounder from Atlantic City. Rosa Edwards has never gone beyond eight rounds. He's in white. Arguello, of course, has been in. He apologizes for that shove. And against Arguello, don't be too apologetic. A right hand lead caught Boza Edwards on the chin. There was a slight buckle in the knee, but took it and comes right back. But not moving as much forward as he was early in the round with 30 seconds to go in the first round. Arguello is a pinpoint puncher, very accurate, and you saw that right hand just get between those two gloves. Good snapping away for punches by Boza Edwards in white. And another right hand lead, so apparently Arguello thinks he can get his opponent with a right hand lead, faking with the left hand. Very wide stance by the champion. Back again in Atlantic City, live coverage of an untitled lightweight bout. Super featherweight champion of WBC in blue on the left, 
is Alexis Arguello, great champion, a newcomer. Hopefully, uh, moving up the ladder today is the man in white, Boza Edwards of Uganda. That minute rest period, Boza Edwards uh, had the advantage of great corner work by Mickey Duff, his manager, and Terry Lawless. One of the truly great trainers in all of boxing from London, England. Arguello has Al Silvani in his corner. Al has been there for a long time. His manager is Dr. Edward Roman. And Arguello is just content to backpedal a bit, not giving up too much ground, while now Jose Edwards is trying to uh, flip that, that right jab being a southpaw. And of course, that blocks vision and can keep the opponent off balance. But in doing so, you have to be careful that a left hook might knock you to the canvas. Or a right hand lead, which our Grail showed in the first round, he'd like to deliver often. Now, a little more bobbing and weaving by the champion. Oh, those are solid punches. 53 knockouts, our Grail. He's been a professional for 12 years and well a polished one at that. Again, a right hand lead. It was sort of a probing punch, hoping no one would go to sleep. One, two by our Grail. Rosa Edwards, we admire his poise. Right hook caught on the gloves of our Grail. Round two of a 10 round non title bout. That punch did not find the chin. It was low. That one wild. Slipping the punch was Boza Edwards. 28 fights, only one loss. That was because he sustained a cut and the bout was stopped. He was ahead on the scorecards of the officials. Here we have the referee, Tony Perez, and two judges scoring the fight on the 10-point must system. New Jersey rules, the state athletic uh, commissioner, former heavyweight champion of the world, Jersey Joe Walcott, watching for the far side of the ring. There he is, you see him between the two fighters. Still looks in shape. We have about 40 seconds remaining in the second round. It was the best right hand thrown by Boza Edwards, but it caught the gloves of Arguello, the super featherweight champion in blue. That's a type of ripping left hook. Edwards had the right idea there, throwing a combination, trying to get inside. Look at that parrying of the punches by Arguello. Rosa Edwards in white. Bell in less than 10 seconds here in Atlantic City. At 28 years of age, has super featherweight champion Alexis Arguello reached his peak or gone beyond it? Well, it's what he's uh, trying out today as he moves up to another weight division, the lightweight class, which has a 135-pound limit. And uh, after two rounds, he's getting a... Pretty good test from the Ugandan named Cornelius Boza Edwards, the southpaw, trying to get something going by flicking out that right jab. A lot of punches have been blocked by both fighters. They're both trying to find the range, carefully trying to find the range. What Arguello on the left wants to do is perhaps go down in history as winning at least three world titles. He's a former featherweight champion, 126-pound limit. He is the current WBC super featherweight champion at 130. And there again, the right-hand lead. Fainting with the left and then long right-hand lead. One of them has landed, only one thus far. That one nearly did. Those Edwards must be really careful. Now he's starting to move a little more laterally instead of straight forward. And Arguello is beginning to uh, take the offensive. Oh, and a good hand by Boza Edwards. It's a type of punch that will gain respect from Arguello. You can see he throws that uh, that left hand. He can hook with it or throw uh, straight punches. Of course, here on ABC Today, coming up, live coverage from Oak Hill in Rochester, New York, the third round of the PGA Championship. This is a 10-round non-title bout. The champion in blue, and someone that hopes to uh, be a contender in the lightweight division, Cornelius Boza Edwards in white. Good defense by Arguello. Oh. <laughs> 
Smith. Pretty good left hand of the body of Arguello. Didn't seem to bother him. First round three. Blocked the left hand, Arguello, and got caught with the right. Our sound effects microphone is uh, giving you an idea of what the punches sound like, most of which have been landing on the gloves or to the body. Bozo Edwards and White occasionally has that chin exposed. But he's more than holding his own against a much more experienced fighter, Arguello in blue. Bell in a few seconds. We're back at Atlantic City for the fourth round of an untitled lightweight bout. The super featherweight champion in blue, Alexis Arguello, going against the man in white, 24-year-old Cornelius Boza Edwards of Uganda, fighting out of London, England, under great uh, management and training. Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless. Arguello may start opening up here in the fourth round. Oh. Two fine punches by Boza Edwards. Lovely left hook coming from underneath and catching the super featherweight champion. Well, as Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless said, Boza Edwards will more than hold his own. This is a slugfest now here in the fourth round. Edwards above the bridge of the nose staggered him and Arguello the super featherweight champion is trying to end it but 24 years old Boza Edwards in great shape will probably shape off the effects of that great hand but there was another body punch absorbed by Boza Edwards but he's fighting back this is the fourth round of this scheduled 10 round <laughs> a fighting machine, Arguello. <laughs> Holding and hitting up supports Tony Perez now. Goes in and he'll warn Boza Edwards of holding behind the neck and apologizing now with a deep bow to Arguello in blue. Now we're in the final minute. This is a very tiring round for both for both boxers. We're going to be staying here between rounds to now we won't have the opportunity to stay here unfortunately. So we'd like to alert our local stations that at the end of this round we'll be taking a station break. We'll be back with more boxing after this word from our local stations. At the Superstar Theater, Resorts International, Atlantic City, we've reached round five, nearing the halfway point of this non-titled lightweight bout. If you just joined us, the super featherweight champion of WBC is in blue, Alexis Arguello, going against Cornelius Boza Edwards of Uganda. Boza Edwards has taken two tremendously hard shots thrown by Arguello. In the last round, he caught a right hand just above the bridge of the nose. It staggered him momentarily, and he not only uh, shook the cobwebs, but came back and mounted an offensive of his own. But he has to be careful against the accurate punching of Arguello, who weighs five and a half pounds more than the super featherweight limit of 130. Good body punch drawn by Arguello in blue. PGA Championship third round coverage follows ABC's Wide World of Sports. And a nice combination. 
nearly solid uh, hits by Boza Edwards, who now is dancing in and then dancing away. Certainly a contrast of styles, especially here in round five. Boza Edwards impressing some 1,700 who are watching this live bout in a theater. Jose Edwards has nice recovery. When he misses punches, he quickly collects himself and puts together combinations of his own. Blocked a couple of really whistlers by Arguello a moment ago. But Arguello is relentless when he gets warmed up. Minute to go in the fifth round. Now it's Boza Edwards moving backwards, occasionally flashing forward. And keeping the super featherweight champion a little off balance now, even though Arguello begins to move forward a little more than he did in the first four rounds. Tony Perez, the referee. Two good lefts by Arguello. A missed right uppercut. Notice how quickly those combinations come in. Bose Edwards, a 24-year-old from Uganda, keeps firing back. This is round six. There's the super featherweight champion, Alexi Arguello. Had the featherweight title, now the super featherweight champion of the WBC. And it appears that he wants to have the lightweight title as well, joining Henry Armstrong as a holder of three titles. Well, he's going up against a 24-year-old from Uganda who had a brilliant amateur, amateur career in Kampala, the capital. He's had a guardian, uh, an English tea planter, Jack Edwards, who had to leave Uganda as Idi Amin and his group took over the plantation. Edwards Penniless came back to England and he was followed by Cornelius Boza, who then accept, accepted his guardian's last name, Edwards, thus Boza Edwards. Not only a well-educated 24-year-old boxer, but a very skilled boxer and a lightweight with a lot of courage. Not having trouble with his mouthpiece, now he got it back in. He's taken the best right hands that Arguello can throw, and he stood up against him. But this is the sixth round, and maybe those earlier heavy punches that he absorbed will take their toll. And Oak Hill in Rochester, New York, in the PGA Championship coverage of which will join after ABC's Wide World of Sports. Just a note that Jack Nicholas is leading the third round at three under par. And now more left hands by the super featherweight champion Arguello in this non-title lightweight bout. <laughs> Coming up to the one minute mark of the sixth round. But fighting right back. He is not overawed by the great Alexis Arguello. Boza Edwards in white. Believe me, Boza Edwards is set. Wide stance where he can unload with a heavy punch, too. But Arguello has a better defense. Now both using their jabs, trying to double up with... Right hands in the case of Arguello, or left hands by Boza Edwards. Arguello caught a heavy punch, coming in. Okay, Arguello now comes back to the corner as Al Savani. 
comes over to talk to him. Pat Rascone is also in the corner. Arguello, who now fights out of Coral Gables, Florida. And he's very, he has that serious look, always in the ring. But I think he's a little perplexed by it all. He probably didn't think that the bout would go to the seventh round, which will be coming up here in a few moments. Meanwhile, in the opposite corner, Mickey Duff on the left and Terry Lawless with his back to us are uh, trying to help along their protege, and he's a good one with uh, 28 bouts and 27 wins, Boza Edwards. And of course, coming up next on ABC exclusive live coverage of the third round of the PGA Golf Championship from Oak Hill Country Club in Rochester, New York. Nicholas leading at the moment. Jack Nicholas at three under par. And we move into the seventh round of this non-title title bout, and we mentioned Ben Vereen and Foster Brooks. There he is, Silver Fox. Came out to watch this bout. Loves boxing. This is the Superstar Theater. And Alexis Arguello is the Super Featherweight Champion, moving up into the lightweight division. Would like to win that title. Look at this exchange. Bose well, Edwards, and uh, he's over-anxious, will occasionally grab behind the neck of Arguello. And whip. oh, a good left hook. Stopped Arguello right in his tracks. We'll recall that many of Arguello's knockout victories and title defenses came in later rounds against good fighters. And I think he's finding that those is better than he thought. There have been no knockdowns. Neither fighter is cut. Both have been hit hard. There was one that wobbled Boza Edwards. Oh, what a sneak left hand thrown by the contender in white. Real head hunting here in the seventh round of the scheduled ten round bout. Devastating left hook. Slugfest here in the seven round, seventh round. Now remember in white, Boza Edwards is an unright lightweight. How that was overlooked, we'll never know. Tony Perez, the referee, doing a fine job, keeping out of range and just letting them go. Less than a minute remaining in the seventh round. Scheduled for 10. What's great about the seventh round is the fact that Bose Edwards has not been intimidated, but he's absorbed tremendous punishment and has to be careful. Those earlier punches now may be adding up, and there was a right hand that really has Bose Edwards in trouble, and Arguello from a slip. That is not a knockdown. And we have 20 seconds remaining in the seventh round. That slip may allow Bosa Edwards to get off the hook. He is shaken up. Most fighters would have gone down, but not 24-year-old Bosa Edwards of Uganda. What a game fighter, and he'll get a minute rest in a couple of seconds, and oh, does he need it. After a punishing seventh round, Boza Edwards and White was just given the word to give it everything you got against the super featherweight champion, Alexis Arguello, because you are in trouble. So let's see if he'll really open up. Took tremendous punches in the seventh round if you were with us. And withstood them all, got that minute rest and at 24 years of age and after training hard and heavy in Las Vegas and here in Atlantic City, the results of training showed up. Eighth round, scheduled 10. The first time Arguello and Blue fighting as a lightweight. 135 and a half. Going against Rose Edwards at 134 and a half. And there was a right hand that knocked the mouthpiece out of Rose Edwards' mouth. And remember, 
receiver Boza Edwards came in as a substitute for Villamar Fernandez, who was scheduled to fight again. Alexis Arguello, but because of reported trouble with impacted wisdom teeth, withdrew from this fight. And it was Fernandez who was the last man to defeat Arguello. Fernandez, a lightweight. Those body punches are of no significance, only trying Arguello to drop that right hand. Oh, there's another right hand lead, but Boza Edwards takes it out of trouble again. Gets caught with the lefts and rights. A minute and 20 seconds remaining in round eight. And hanging on now is Boza Edwards. A minute and 10 to go. Little rubbery knee right now. Remember, there have been no knockdowns. Both fighters who have taken the hardest punches by Arguello would have been on the deck. Oh, a body punch that really hurt Arguello. Looking for the finish. We have 40 seconds left in round eight. Edwards in his 29th fight now, trying to use all the ring savvy he has to avoid those punches. But Arguello now is punching himself out here in the eighth round. They'll both get a rest in 20 seconds with two more rounds scheduled. We'll be staying between rounds to see what Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless do to the, for the Ugandan. A lot of the steam now here in the eighth round going from the super featherweight champs punches. But look at Edwards come back. Tremendous will. So now a minute rest as we're going to stay here at the Superstar Theater. This is a tremendous non-title bout. Mickey Duff on the left, Terry Lawless, and Tony Perez wisely goes over. We get a look at the right hand of our quail. First a left that was missed and then the right hand. What a shock absorber any fighter has to have to sustain it. But Tony Perez now comes over. The fight has been stopped after the eighth round. Mickey Duff told Tony Perez no way did he want his prospect Cornelius Boza Edward to absorb any more punches because the man, Boza Edwards at 24, has uh, too great a future and has too darn much courage because he took everything that Arguello could throw. And remember, Arguello coming into this bout had scored 53 knockouts in 63 victories. And he's a 12-year veteran of the professional wing from Managua, Nicaragua. Alexis Arguello. There's Al Silvani, pleased that his charge was able to win the bout, his 64th victory and his 54th knockout, and Ed Darien has the official time and the official ruling of this non-title bout. Ed Darien. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Perez stops this bout at the end of the eighth round. And the winner by a... TKO Alexis Arguello, Arguello.